Hi folks, hope you're okay today. Uh, just making uh, a brief argument, uh, the article that you can look at today is called Evidence for the Fine Tuning of the Universe by Rich Dean. And uh, basically, the question that I, I want to put to the skeptic is why is life, life able to live on this planet? and not all the other planets in, in, in the universe. Why is it this one? Why is it the moon is at the right distance for the sea, uh, for the tide to go in and out? Why is it the sun is at the right distance for us to have light and heat here? Why? Is it an accident? And um, Rick Deem says, recent studies have confirmed that fine tuning of the cosmological constant also known as dark energy. This cosmological constant is force that increases with increasing size of the universe. First hypothesized by Albert Einstein, the cosmological constant was rejected by him because of lack of real world data. However, recent supernova 1A data demonstrated the existence of a cosmological constant that probably made up for the lack of light and dark matter of the universe. However, the data was tentative since there was some variability among the observations. Recent cosmic microwave background measurement not only demonstrates the existence of the cosmological constant, but the value of the constant. It turns out that the value of the cosmological constant exactly makes up for the lack of matter in the universe. So, we could uh, expand on that but I'm going to just give a few other pointers so there is, there is scientific uh, data um, but I have here over 34 parameters for the fine tuning strong nuclear force constant if larger no hydrogen would form Atomic, uh, atomic nuclei for most life essential elements would be unstable, thus no life chemistry. And it goes on, 34 examples of how various chemical and biological and physical um, entities and forces that if they weren't there, we would not have life. For example, expansion rate of the universe. If larger, no galaxies would form. If smaller, universe would collapse even before stars formed, etc. So it's no accident that the world is the way it is. It shows a mind has created it because it's so perfectly balanced for life. So let me know what you think. And uh, it's good to be with you. And uh, don't forget to check out my website jasonbirdspreacher.com don't forget we have a fellowship here on a Thursday at 7.30 where we study the Bible uh, Haywood Presbyterian Reformed Fellowship which is uh, we're praying to to be a, a, a church uh, plant one day uh, we you know it, it is a church plant in a way but we, 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 we need to um, link up with others and uh, a denomination we need to organize ourselves properly uh, so we're, we're kind of on the verge of being a church plant so we just have to pray so anyhow a fine-tuned argument we have a Bible study here 730 and uh, you want my uh, phone number you can get it off my website jasonbirdspreacher.com and we have a Sunday service here at 4 p.m. Um, I would encourage you to think about why is it that everything is the way it is. I, I want to read uh, Psalm 19. Psalm 19. Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. So creation speaks of God, and I would ask you to think about that. Thank you for listening, and take care. God bless you.